Okay guys, so our, our review today is going to be a 70 second scale. I do build in 70 second. I actually quite enjoy it sometimes. I, I'd love to be able to put detail on something this tiny and this one here screams out of it because it's got the uh, the bed spring armour all around the turret and also up the sides here. Now I'll pull out the photo etch parts for that when we, we get into the kit just to show you how that all works. But uh, as soon as I've seen this kit I thought yeah I've got to have that because that's just beautiful detail we can add to this. Okay so this is the T3485 mod 1944 late production one and the box art nice dragon box art um, I mean there is nicer box art around but that's fine uh, on the side here we've got all yeah, some nice little bits of information about what's in the kit some nice detail uh, one of the things that I don't like and I don't know why they would have it on the side of the box is the old rubber band tracks uh, I hate those things I really do uh, there is ways of working with them to get them to sag and things like that but um, yeah it, it's time consuming I really don't like them Okay, we've got uh, a kit number of 7270 uh, and on this side here we have a little bit more information uh, well just more pictures of the decal sheet and the photo which as you can see on there that's all the bed springs that we're going to find inside there so without further ado we shall open him up and we'll have a look inside and see what we've got okay guys now I bought this second hand uh, got it for five dollars believe it or not and even this little guy right here, it's the crew that go in there. Now that still got the price tag on it, that's $15 on its own. So yeah, it's one of those things I picked up a bargain. It was at a local hobby show. I love going to hobby shows and you get some bargains. But the other thing I love going to hobby shows for is meeting the other modelers, getting, you know, swapping tips and techniques, things like that. But um, yeah, sometimes I come away thinking, oh wow, well, you just grabbed a bargain. But mind you, I sell old kits too with bits in there and other people get bargains from me. But that's that's part of the fun of the hobby but yeah great pickup because I've got this little crew set in there and obviously it's only the uh, their torsos and heads and things like that but yeah so be very nice uh, okay so what have we got here that's a little base there for your little wheels and as you can see this is not this is not a big kit this is not going to be a big machine when it's finished now there's one of the things like I say that I love about 70 second scale is that they are so tiny um, and especially Dragon Kits put so much detail into something so small there's beautiful panel lines all built into that fantastic uh, that's the base so you're probably not going to see that anyway but um, okay we'll have a look over our destruction sheet here now again this is uh, this is real Dragon stuff we've got our nice picture up here we've got our layout of our sprues our photo etch things like that we've got a bit of cable here and our base road wheels and our rubber band tracks Okay, inside, so this is one of the, our fold out jobs, guys. Uh, got all our paint colours and things like that up here. Uh, okay, we start off with, which is quite unusual for tanks. Normally you start on the road wheels, but this is starting with the fuel tanks and uh, the photo etch. Um, so what I might do, guys, with this, with this one here, as I'm doing the photo etch, this is starting on the toolboxes, doing the photo etch on the toolboxes. Um, so what I might do is, this might be a good one for me to actually show my photo X techniques to uh, build toolboxes and really small parts because 70 second scale they're going to be very tiny, very finicky to work with and it'll be a good opportunity for me to show you how to work with that stuff. Um, also the bed springs, <clears throat> as you can see on this bit of a picture over here, uh, very fine detail with the photo etch over there. Now. I'm not the greatest person with photo wedge, but I, I can sort of struggle my way through it. So what I'll do is make a video as I'm doing it. But the next part of the instructions, which again, unusual for armour, is our, um, our top plate here. You know, with our hatches, toolboxes, fuel tanks all going on there. Little details, lights and things like that going on there. Um, and then our next page over on here, we have our guards going over the engine bay. Uh, more fuel tanks going on, our spare tracks on the side there and our beautiful bed spring armour. Now I, probably I would recommend you don't put this on at this stage because it's really going to be hard to paint and weather it with those attached over the top. I'd probably build those separate, um, weather them and put them on a little bit after. I'll, I'll, I'll see how it goes as I'm putting the thing together. Um, now, okay, I see why they haven't done the road wheel assembly first up because they're actually one piece. As you can see here, they're all just, you just slip them on there, they're done. Uh, it's basically having to paint them. 
and 70 second scale is a bit of a challenge because it's like trying to paint but again I'll, I'll do the video when I do the build on this one guys so you can see how we paint things that tiny ok we've got our turret going on up here some nice little photo etch detail going on there our grab handles are in photo etch up here um, some more beautiful bed spring work going on here I'll get that into focus for you so you can see that absolutely beautiful so that's it's going to be a challenge but that'll come up really nice guys that fine detail and then it's just a matter of on the back here um, putting it all to bed, together the base top plates and the turret and putting your uh, steel ropes on your tow cables and so on so yeah fairly basic by the look of it guys um, your color call out here you've got a couple here there's one for the eastern front uh, 1944 unidentified looks like it's got a little bit of um, <clears throat> I'll hold this up so you can see that a little bit it has got a little bit of camouflage pattern going on there which is nice uh, a lot of the Russian stuff as we know it's just that, that green colour um, not that there's anything wrong with the green colour I would probably actually be doing it in the green colour I'll probably do it on this guy up here because um, I really like the decals going on with that part um, very nice so um, maybe even, I don't know, I might do a bit of a winter whitewash on it, I don't know, just see, I'll, I'll do a bit of research on it and that before I do any of that. But guys, so let's get into some of the other stuff in our box here. Now, for a 70 second, and these normally you get these for, you know, I think I've seen them for around 25 to $30 for these kits, and honestly, value for money, these are fantastic. I mean, look at look at the um, the detail on these bed springs and the, and the etch on here, that's... I mean, if you bought something from Edward that size, you'd probably pay that money just for that edge set there. So, fantastic value for money. The decals, the decals look fine. There's no, um, I can't see any silver, like anything that's going to silver over the side. They, they seem to be very nice on there. Okay, next part here, I will just quickly open these bags up. Uh, just a tip guys, don't use your hobby knives to open these bags of bluntons and fairly quick. Um, I just got these cheap and you get three in a bag for a dollar for these things. Fantastic for just cutting open bags and doing things like that, trimming sprue. And... Okay, so up here we've got the top plate for our turret, um, base in the middle for our turret. <coughs> the uh, detail looks absolutely beautiful on this. Uh, typical Dragon in 72nd. It's incredible that something that tiny can have that sort of detail on it. Um, I'll try and get this up into the camera and get it to focus on there so maybe you can see what I'm talking about. You can see where the handle's going there, what sort of details built into that, even the bottom part here. Just just beautiful detail on these guys. There's um, this top part to, up in here. Okay, you can see that up in there. Just beautiful detail for something that size is fantastic. Um, I don't see much flash going on, injector pin marks. Um, usually, my dragon, they're all on the inside. The hatches can be, you see a little hatch here, can be swung open. There's no injector pin marks, and it's actually got detail on the inside of the hatch, so you can have it open. But uh, I'm going to have a crew member in there, so it won't be so bad. If you don't have crew members, obviously you're going to see the inside, and there's no interior detail, so be careful having your hatches open. A lot of times it's it's dark enough that that's not going to matter anyway. You're not, you're not going to see in there because it's too dark, and especially in this size. It's you know unless you've got a light shining down in there, you're not really going to see it. Okay, I missed the top of the packet there with that. Okay, so we've got the top part of our hole here. Uh, just yeah, again beautiful detail. The, uh, the armor down the side here has sort of got that bit of a rough surface on it and in that scale that'll be fine. If it's 35th scale you'd probably want to rough it up a bit more. 72nd scale that's fine for what we're after. Uh, I can see a few lines and flash mark coming off just along the front of this guy here. I'll try and get it up the camera a little bit. Let's see if you can pick that up in there. There's a little bit of a line going across there. It'll have to be cleaned up but um, in that, that top part of the, the hole you can see the detail that's in that. Absolutely exquisite. Just beautiful stuff, guys. Uh, we've got all our fuel tanks going on down here as well on this sprue. Um, our guards are over the back. Now, obviously, there's photo etch, I think, for those parts that I recall seeing in the instructions. So that will actually have to be cut out to get that photo etch back in there. Uh, all that grab handles. I mean, you can remake those if you like, but because they're in this scale here, at that size, they are a little bit out of scale. It's very hard to uh, make plastic mouldings that fine. So, 
um, and I don't think there's any etch parts for the grab handles there. You can remake some some of your own out of wire if you like. But um, yeah, guys, I'm very impressed with that. So it's a beautiful kit. Again, all the injector pin marks will be all hidden on the inside. Nice little exhaust going on there. Um, some nice detail on the back plate here. Um, yeah, very nice, guys. I don't think I've got much more to say about that. It's a, quite a nice looking little kit. It's one of those ones, guys, I'll be doing a, a bit of a build up on it. Uh, probably the only disappointment I've got with this here is the. Um, the old rubber band tracks that are going on there that's yeah that's but most of these dragon kits do come with that there are some that have got the individual track links and i think you can replace these you can get there's other kits that have the individual track links or molded pieces that you can replace that if you really want to i mean i can work with these and i use a bit of super glue to make them sag and things like that make them sit in the sag position there's different tricks you can use put a piece of wire up the inside and you can bend the wire which will make the tracks go with the wire things like that um, but you know I mean that's probably the only disappointment the rest of this is absolutely superb which you come to ex expect from Dragon uh, 72nd or 35th scale the only thing is putting it together is there may be fit issues I know I've had that with Dragon a few times uh, where you're, you're putting these together and there's fit issues come along but that's that's part of being a modeler that's part of the fun I know I actually enjoy that with this not major fit issues all the way through that drives your bananas on me but if there's just an odd fit issue here and there that you have to correct that's part of the fun of the hobby guys and that's what we do it for it's all about the fun so yep yeah, i just from box review i definitely recommend grabbing this kit if you can get it for the right price fantastic and the bed spring armor is the thing that sets this one apart that is going to be absolutely beautiful when we get that bed spring armor on there so definitely looking forward to building this one guys and when i do start building it I will certainly let you know and we'll go through the build process 70 second scale it'll go together reasonably quick it would be slow a little bit slower than normal because of the bed spring and all the, the photo etches in there it's so fine um, but it'll be a fairly quick build and if you didn't use those it'll be a very quick build but the old Russian armour you can't beat it for doing weather if you want to do whitewashes and things like that and lots of scratches and bumps because they really didn't spend a lot of time keeping their stuff clean they kept it in good running condition but not so much keeping them clean so yeah fantastic i definitely recommend this kit guys if you're into 70 second scale armor um, superb little kit okay guys uh, thanks for watching again sub if you haven't sub and down below i'll have some extra information on this kit and any aftermarket kits and things like that um, but yeah th thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it and uh, please comment below guys and i'll see you next video